All right, let's rock and roll. Here we go. Ultimate little cheeky totem build. Gonna do the Jed's Pasta. Gonna do a heal when we want. Counter Force coming in. Here we go. 20% increased cleansing speed on the first totem here. 10% repair speed bonus while we do this gen. We are looking pretty good already. Jake wiggled out. Looks like Nia's gonna go help him out. Let's just get this gen finished. And slightly across the time that we'll be able to without this perk. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. All right, we're gonna have to pop the loop here. Hold on. Check the window. Spin it round. Round here. Come on, we make that. Oh, come on, man. Okay, I guess we'll just take a hit off the knight here. That does lose us our own Gazella stacks, which is pretty irritating, but it does mean we can just run towards the track quite confidently. New knight means he can't chase us while his guard chases us. So, I guess we just run around this side here. Hit him with a fatty window cape, which is gonna sw Oh, that was a bit bold, but all right. Step around here, we hit window easy here. With little to no concern, let's just hit the window tech. I wanna go find another totem and get that gen repair speed up again. I don't know if this guy has any hexes, I don't know if this guy's gonna have no heads. Just by cleansing all these totems this game, we're looking pretty clean. So now he's following us, and near us! Okay, that answers our question. We got to fake that. Ah, uh, we get hit anyway. Okay, let's just step around here, I guess. We have this tile to our advantage. Can we just swing around here slow and like this? Boom! Heal. Done. Beautiful. Let's just go find another totem and then let's get these gens cranking that a little bit quicker again. Oh, hold on. One ahead of us here, question mark? Exclamation mark. Nice. All right. This is even faster than last time. It's a stackable 20% bonus every time we cleanse a totem. With Clairvoyance? No. Counterforce. There's another in the top of main. I'm tempted to just steal both. And we can stack up those Ongazella stacks and get another gen just blitzed. As quickly as humanly possible. Okay. I'd change my mind again. For undisclosable reasons, let's just lob that. Take his eyes as we go past. Very nice indeed. We have two pallets we can run here. This can't really go wrong. If he puts a guard on our head, it's just going to dissipate immediately. If he sticks to the chase, and he didn't even manage to catch us with it. All right, he's going to go around? No, he's going to try to kick the, oh, people off that gen. Let's just take the path to the upstairs then. I don't think that can see us. Pass that up and break again with counter force. This perk is really coming into play here. And then the final turn that's going to be revealed to us is on the other side of the upstairs. So we know where to go when we're done here. That's genuinely... Oh. Okay. He heard what I was saying. He knows that I know a little too much. Can I fake the window? I can swing back. Past the guard. Nice. Such a poorly implemented... Oh. I don't think I can do anything with that though. Okay. Let's just hop lock. Fully heal up. Claim this totem. And then we'll hang in our strength one last time for when we're in the end game here. Excellent. All right. Hop here. Let's just claim this totem with that super duper fast bonus from Counterforce here. Look how fast our totem's going. This isn't even the theoretical max because somebody else took a totem this game. So let's just hop down here. Blitz this gen 10% faster than we we're going to. Oh, or not. Hold on. Fuck him on the corner. Nah. All right. We're just going to have to keep it stepping this way. Maybe we can step into the map. And he might commit to the chase. I guess we just burn our final inner strength stack. It's a little wasteful to just take a hit like that, but it'd be even worse not to heal up. Bro, this guy's a little knowing Nigel. He's literally aware of absolutely everything. We do want the pallet here. We can come back and throw that. Take his eyes. Keep it stepping this way. Hopefully he commits to the chase while those guys get that gen done. Ah, oh, this is perfect. All the totems are out in the way as well, so because we cannot have no edge. Let's just do a rotation to the tree so he can wix. Okay. We have Shaq still. Gate there. Someone's got to wake up on that gate. I forgot that perk even existed because nobody actually uses it. Take his eyes on the window. We can pass into this tile over here. It's a four lane. I don't know if it has its pallet still. I'm sincerely hoping that it does, it doesn't. Uh oh. Hold on. If I swing around, I can probably hit window confidently. I can. Um, I'm probably dead here. I don't really know if I can go and probably swing the window, maybe? Nah. Uh oh. Uh. We can... There's pallet over there. I think that's our only bet. I'll make it to the pallet in time. Okay, that's fine. That's not worst case. Wait, he's all the way up there with a guard. You can just come get me. Literally just needs to tap me. I don't think he knows how this character works. Nice. All right, I got him with a hit. I'm assuming... Why are you going here? The gate's... The gate over here is not done. I'm going to have to take the hit on the window. Uh-oh. If I leave now, she might get out. We know the gate's across here. She might unironically have to die so that this timer doesn't kill us. 
This end game has been so incredibly intense, and I'm so upset that we didn't get the four out we deserved. Let's just take the escape. He had to go out and know it! Oh my god, we counted him so hard! Alright, the Midwich Elementary. Oh my god, we're getting a small game and I can't even do anything about it, bro. Let us begin by just finding the totem off the bat, I guess. Hello? Oh, nice. Solid. Good call. Alright, count of course coming in. 20% immediately. Next, furthest away totem, but next totem opportunities. Top corner of that side of the map. Alright, noted. Let's just rob the bot, apparently. Let's head into here. And start cranking out this gen with our 10% repair speed bonus from Uncle Zealous. Which is going to be really, really useful to start this game out because we've not done a gen yet. Okay, we're going to pop this. She's going to be here by the time it's popped. Yeah, let's just pre throw this pallet. We can't really go wrong with it. We just take this. She's far too close to not. I'm going to keep running this. I can probably. You're faking that. I'm not silly. Okay, let's just move, I guess. <laughs> Bro, I don't think this spirit's ever faced the spirit if that's how she's playing. That is just weird as fuck. We make it to this pallet, kind of stun. Nice. I don't know where she went there. Let's just step it round here. Keep the chase going. Get a little blind on the way past. We hit window easily. Drop another pallet here. A little shorter than the last one. It's still pretty damn good. Let's just vacuum it. She does respect incredibly hard. I guess we just take this window back. That's probably our safest option right now. I think she's just gonna leave us. No, I think she's trying to come around. Oh, he predicted that. That was clever. I will gang on that one. That was pretty impressive. But we can just keep it stepping around. We have two in here, one downstairs. I'm just gonna come around here and throw it on that side vault. Okay. Alright, let's just let the sable unhook us and we can just use our inner strength here. There's no point in wasting her time when she could just hop straight onto a gen. When we can burn through the sloppy butcher in only 8 seconds. Counter force can show us another certain. We might honestly take two. We're getting pretty far into the game now. But we just want to start stacking the repair speed bonus, to be honest. Right, there's another. Opposite side of the top here for the next. All in all, looking pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's in the bathroom, right? We saw it earlier when we were looking up. Yep, yeah, nice, solid. That is a little surgical over there. I think we just cleanse this. There's one on her there. Let's just start another gen. So I reckon he's going to get kicked off that gen in a moment. 120% repair speed on this gen here. Look how fast we're stopping it from regressing. Hitting the great skill checks is even more impactful. As long as we don't get pressure from this gen here. Which maybe I spoke a little too soon. But if she does go for the people healing... We just pop this, like, immediately. Let's just keep repairing this. It's going incredibly quickly. That repair speed bonus really is just offsetting the deficit that comes from doubling up on chains. Ah, perfect. Uh-oh. Wait. We can just stick this. Hold on. Let's just pre-run this room. If she doesn't commit, we got that gen done. In okay, that gen is essentially done now. Well looking good. All done. All wrapped up. It has no head. We are the ability to cleanse that totem incredibly, incredibly quickly. I reckon we just hop gate here, to be honest. Hop on the gate, get it started, help out the teammate. He's throwing God pallet next to us here. That is A-OK -okay with me. If he has to go down, that's also fine. She's not got no head. Okay, we're looking okay. We know there's a gate being progressed ahead of us here. If she drops the chase, this is exactly why we have inner strength. Alright, we're going to have to play this pallet. Gonna kick the ace off that, that's fine with me. We can just hop in here. Oh dear, that was a bit loud. Um Yes! We timed it for him perfectly! Oh my god! I don't know why I fast got in that locket to be honest. That was our flaw. She's just never gonna let us have that side, is she? You're not actually phasing. Why did you why is she doing this, bro? <laughs> oh she she might actually just genuinely lose the game by doing that. Let's just hop lock in here. There will be one. There's one in this corner. Let's lead the scratches up to here. Hop this side. We get our heal completely done here within a strength. And then the gate below us is about to pop. So this cannot go terribly for us. Team are taking the hit. I'm not sure it's going to be enough though. She sticks him we can rob. Yeah, we're all out. Easy peasy. Spirit. Stakes. Cool. 
You can take that in if you have to. Nice! Easy, clean, free, cheap game. We use our small game here to grab a tote and Counter Force will show us where the next one is. It is a- oh! I guess we just keep stepping the shack then. No totem for us in the first chase. However, what? Who is this? It might, it might just be a founder. Let's just keep stepping around it. I might just have to throw a shack. Fuck it, I'm throwing a shack. What? Okay. Like, you look at me like I won't do it, big. Like, I will do it. She's in love with us. I'm a favorite person to exist on the entire planet of Earth. All right. Let's just keep stepping. If she uses the dash, we can just make it to the pallet in time. The dash is just not good enough to play. Oh, no. We're going to small game procs on this loop the entire time, man. Let's just throw it because I don't like how she's trying to play it. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to pre-drop this one as well because it's a pretty nasty one to play around for her. She will just have to break and it us all of this and so we need to make it to the back of the map here. I'm hoping that they're working on three separate gens here because that would be a really, really enormous start to this game. I've done... Oh! I mean, three gen chases isn't a bad start, but I didn't want to just get hit through the pallet like that, man. Alright, I was going to go look for a totem, but honestly, I'll just tank a quick little heal off both these teammates on the site of the hook. The pig's probably making their way back down here in Crouch, yeah. Because she is a little, little glazer, but we can make it work. Does she just want us again? No, okay, we're good. I might, I might be losing it slightly. Okay, there, there it is there. This this pig screams at no Ed. So honestly, cleansing all the totems won't be a bad play anyway. Less to just stack up on our Rokozella stacks. Next totem's on the other side of the map over here. There's another totem in the main, so let's just grab it as we go past. And go for that bond at the back of the map for that 30% repair speed. It's just... It's, we may as well. There's no reason not to. Let's do this box along the way. There's no point going out the way to do these here, because the trap's at a normal timer rate. Oh, first try. Nice. And then we can hop straight on a gen for a 30% repair speed bonus. Granted, there's two teammates on a gen, but having two gens progressed at the same time just won't go amiss at this stage of the game when they're likely to get kicked off it. Oh, and just like that, we lost all our Ocazella stacks. That's really good. I'm really glad that happened. All right, let's step around to here. She's gone that way. Why? I mean, we have the gate. That was a really, really unnecessarily easy and clean game. Boom, solid. All right, to the gates. Can't complain here. Okay, I'm confident it's not Noah because the Dwight did just go down. Let's claim this totem for our inner strength in a moment. The Sable isn't chased by that gate. The Dwight's on the floor over there with her. Last totem's over in Shack area. And it's not lit. We can see it with line of sight. So we don't need to worry about that. We do have our inner strength if we need it, though. If she comes here, we can take her on a chase. If she comes, we can go make a play. This game can't really go wrong for us at this point, to be honest. We're all in such a good position, and this pig genuinely is just not that good. Ace gets hit, but we can just give him hits out. This is such an incredibly easy endgame here. Oh, okay. Oh, she's a little lost. Let's go for the hatch. Let's make this a little more intense. This hasn't been a particularly intense game. So, let's just head straight back into the map and see if we can find the hatch, shall we? Has she been tracking our scratches, or is she also looking for the hatch? I refuse to escape Fire Gate this game. We will get this hatch. Yeah, clean, solid, good form. 